Like every day you get up, you're serving people in, in property management. Property management means a lot of things to a lot of people. But what is it that you believe you bring to your role that's just so different every day in supporting our clients? So I believe a really big part to being a good conflict solver in property management is having high emotional intelligence. You know, this is a super stressful industry for clients, for us, for tenants. And if the people that you entrust your home with, sometimes like a family home, don't understand how much it means to you, it is reflected in the way that they manage your your property, your trust with them, speaking as if I am the client, and all interactions you have together. If you really trust your property manager and you have a personal relationship with them it and you take away the transactional behaviors, you can create this, this relationship that is can be so fruitful and can turn into a friendship. And, you know, like I said before, it's, it's such a personal thing to trust somebody with your home. And that's my favorite part of my job is the – interactions, a phone call, even an email, a quick text on WhatsApp with some of my clients just to let them know that everything is okay or maybe something is not okay, but I'm working on it. Don't worry. Like, how is your time in Greece? I know that you're taking a vacation right now. Like, we create these these relationships with our clients because we want them to know that we care. That's my favorite thing because I care so much. I, like, sometimes care too much because I can lay awake in bed thinking, oh, you know, I have to email that girl because I got to make sure everything is OK with this property here. And, you know, this door at this property is swinging off hinge. I got to fix that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm always thinking because th- my clients are my priority and also tenants are our priority. And it's important that they know and they feel that. And I love those connections. It's my favorite thing.